people throw things out because they don't work for them and that doesn't mean that they're damaged or old. These are beautiful and actually they're very iconic. They're silver, they're not gonna stay silver. It's gonna look pretty funky. As part of our renovation, recycling helped with the budget and also opened up some creative opportunities. The first step is to remove those old and damaged roof tiles. We've contacted a company that does recycle them. They've delivered a bin on site. These roof tiles will be recycled into new concrete products. So it's a great result for the environment and a win-win overall. This is one of those great Aussie inventions, the Hills Hoist, and it definitely wasn't gonna go anywhere as part of this renovation because it was in such good nick. Plus it's also so practical. I've been giving it a rub down with a steel brush and the broom. I'm gonna give it an etching primer, but of course this is a renovation where everything happens at once and the boys have turned up now to start putting the dichondra between these stepping stones. So we're gonna play a little bit of uh, tic-tac-toe as we both get our jobs done. This is the original 1970s kitchen sink from inside the house. Now it's outside. It's become part of our potting area. It's perfect. I repurposed some of the hardwood timber from inside the original house frame, added some brackets, and I've got some shelving. This is part of the original roof batten. I've added some hooks, and now I've got a place for all my garden tools. The classic hills hoist. During our renovation, some of the boys thought this should go, but I'm definitely keeping this one. It's in such good nick. I've rewired it and given it a coat of color. It's beautiful. When renovating, some items can be reused or reclaimed. Like these pavers, they're in perfect nick to reuse somewhere else. Alex, you've done an awesome job on, on compacting this one. How did you do it, Alex? Well, basically I had to uh, try and wrap my head around, you know, making full use of the skiff space. So yep. basically all of our rubbish, which we had a lot of, you know, ripping it apart, laying it down flat, and then, you know, making use of all the pockets and empty spaces, so filling that up with all the small stuff. Yep. Anything, you know, we could recycle, put in the bin, so yep. it could save more space for the skiff. Yeah, you also separate your steel, put your steel in a separate spot. That uh, can be picked up for free, doesn't cost you anything, and it gets recycled. Talk to your, the bin company you hire from, because there are different bins you can get, different sizes. Also, if you're pulling up concrete and bricks and everything, they can go into a certain bin and it costs you cheaper and that gets recycled. There's certain things you can't put in these bins like asbestos and fibro, don't put food rubbish and that sort of stuff. But other than that, they tell you those, those sort of things, but mate, it's a great way to save money. So this is all the existing wiring we pulled out, all the old stuff. We're gonna take it off to the metal recyclers. So the internal component of this cable is copper and the copper is the bit that gets burnt down and reused. And James will be very happy that we're taking your site and getting it recycled. And how's this for a great find? All it took was a coat of white paint. When it comes to looking after the planet and recycling, it's not that hard. Every little step counts. Remember the idea is to repurpose, reuse and recycle. For more great ideas on recycling, you can go to planetart.org.